Alright guys and welcome back to some more aberrations. It's been a while since we've finally been back on this map but I've been doing quite a bit of work in the background. Hopefully I can remember all of it. Uh, if I remember correctly, the last one we did was we got the high level 174 female spino. And as you guys can see here, I have been a little bit busy with her since. So, I decided to try my luck. I got the Christmas one as well, the level, what was it like, level 16 I think? That's being really crap. I decided to try my luck with the uh, the female spino and the level blah 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 Christmas spino. And I actually managed to get a pretty decent one here, I think, yeah, snaps over here. Now, I can't remember what level he hatched at, but turns out, on my ratings anyway, a Spinosaurus only requires three imprints as opposed to a Megalosaurus which requires four. And <laughs> I just got really, really lucky. The first Spinosaurus I happened to hatch ended up needing three walks in a row. And mind you guys, the TLC patch has also come in, so the Spinosaurus has been remade, redeveloped, it's got a bunch more new abilities, and can I just say, oh my god, I am... Um, I, I love spinos anyway, like I've always been a fan of spinos, I like the whole hybrid-esque feature of them, but they've always been a bit, a bit big, a bit clunky, and you know, if I'm going to have a big clunky creature, I may as well have the Rex. Oh no, no, not anymore. I adore the new spinos so, so, so much. And uh, with that said, I went and um, I went up and down the river for a good couple of hours, just killing every spino and carcanos I could find, until I eventually found another 174 male. I immediately tamed that one up, I got them breeding, and I can't remember what I got in the end. I think I got like a, a low rolled female. Oh no, I got twins, that's right, I got twins. Got a uh, male and a female. So the female I kept over here for the sake of uh, breeding even more spinos and hopefully getting some high level ones. And the male over here I ended up keeping for myself. So we've got snappers over here, which does look absolutely amazing. I would like to try and breed him with um, the Christmas ones in the future, because as you guys can see with this middle one here, it's got a brown body from the 174 mother, but it's got the green and red um, sail from Snaps, I believe, which was the bred one from the high level mum and the Christmas um, the Christmas dad. I would really like to get that in at some point because it starts to look really, really cool. Like as a step away, and you can just see like the glowing aberrant texture. I think that looks awesome. So imagine that on the big one or <laughs> what I would really, really love to see like in the future, you know, just like with the Rexes, I kept on breeding the Rexes to Insanity on the island map and I got the blue ones. If I could get like a blue glowing aberrant spino, that's it, GG, I'm done. I'd, I'd be so, so, so happy with that. So I'm hoping I can get that at some point. Not only that though, so it did take like a, a bit of a struggle to get there. So, you know, I was farming stuff, farming, farming, blah, blah, blah. You know, just getting materials, keeping an eye out for Spinos, also keeping an eye out for Megalosaurs. Um, saying all that, actually, I did manage to get like a few loot crates. I can't remember what exactly I got. Uh, I did get like obviously the shield here. So I finally have a shield to use. I, uh, what else did I get? A whole bunch of stuff here, as you can see, the majority of which is useless. I've been getting like the odd uh, piece here or there. Nothing really particularly amazing. Okay, there's a sword. Nothing really particularly amazing, but it is ab aberration after all. You, it's, uh, I'm finding it a lot more difficult to actually get quality gear, so I'm kind of happy with anything that I do happen to get. Which reminds me, so the whole deal with the earthquakes, you know how I was telling you guys in the past about how I really wanted to actually find an object fall from an earthquake? like a, a weapon or something, but I heard it can happen. I keep on hearing you guys tell me in the comments about people in my Discord tell me it can happen, it can happen, but I've never seen it for myself. Well, I finally have. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't get it on camera. But uh, it was during an earthquake. I think I was uh, like waiting for one of the Spinosaurus to um, grow up or something. I can't entirely remember. But what had happened was I was just like looking, like watching a bit of Netflix, watching what was dropping around me. And I saw the most weirdest looking mesh. So it wasn't like a little brown package like I expected. It was actually like a a very bizarre looking mesh. What did I end up getting from it was this. I got a journeyman shotgun, <laughs> which I was very, very happy with. I'm not using it just yet because I'm actually having a bit of an issue getting gunpowder. I don't have enough flint to make enough spark powder to make enough gunpowder. But also, you know, I've got the crossbow, I've got the arrows and such. So I'm no, not really needing it just yet, but it's awesome. I actually did manage to get a weapon from an earthquake. So I'm now keeping a very close eye out on future earthquakes. And huh, what else happened? Like I said, I've been up to quite a bit since the last episode. I've not been able to record last week, so I just played a lot instead. While trying to find a new Spinosaurus, I was, like I said, on, look on the lookout for Megalosaurus. And I ended up finding not one, but two. 174 females. And we have an earthquake. So I'm just going to go ahead and, okay, I'm already on. Learn that. Just going to keep an eye out then while... <laughs> while we talk, while we catch up. 
Uh, yeah, so I actually managed to find two 174 female uh, megalosaurs. Now, now, the pain in the butt thing is that I did actually try taming both of them, but both times they just come across you off. You know, like it was in the mushroom area, like all these um, ledges and such. They both just come across you off the ledge, no matter how, how hard I tried to trap them. Uh, I eventually found one of them again, kept on trying, and not only was I unable to tame her, but if I show you guys up here, she actually killed me, killed my bulb dog, my imprinted bulb dog, killed Tungsten, which was my main uh, my main megalosaur at the time, and then on my back I got killed by a Sarko. So um, <laughs> yeah, I lost quite a bit in the process, got very angry that day, didn't play much. Kind of a good thing I wasn't recording in the end. <laughs> but eventually, you know, next day I carried on. I uh, managed to find another um, Megalosaur. This one was a male. I think it was a 150 male actually, so not really as great as the others, but it was still a male, so I, because I already had the high level female that we tamed together on camera. Uh, so as a result, while waiting for the Spinos to mature and all that kind of stuff, I managed to get Snapjaw over here, which I'll admit I have not actually used, because I have just absolutely adored the Spinos so, so much. Now with all that said and done, I think that's a catch up sorted. I'm going to go ahead and get on snappers over here. And, oh, actually, one more thing. I did also make this little bridge down here. Now, like I've said before, there's so much crystal, so much um, so much metal. Like, my god, guys, the metal on this map is absolutely ridiculous. I was able to make a bridge <laughs> all the way down over there, which uh, is pretty damn sweet. It's probably a bit excessive, but hey, why not? Now, the lovely Spino. As you guys can see... This is probably one of my favourite things, is a spino can now walk as a quadruped and a biped. Now, I know there's a lot of debates on which way it stood and blah blah blah, where it's just a game in my opinion. Personally, I love the fact that it can be on a bipedal size. I love how they approached it, they went with the iguanodon treatment and just gave the player the option on how to play. Now, four-legged, it means it can run a lot faster. And two-legged means it can do a lot more damage. Like, I think um, I've noticed personally, like, a, up to 100 extra points in damage. Not to mention, with the, with the Spinosaurus in a new TLC update, if you go in the water, they receive a massive buff to both their health regen, to their damage, and to their speed. And oh my god, guys, even a non-imprinted Spino, when, it, when it's in the water, they are so damn fast. Let alone an imprinted one. I gotta say, guys, if any of you are playing Aberrations and you're looking for, like, your next big mount, I would massively, massively, massively recommend a Spino. It is just awesome. I love it. Right then, now with all of that uh, rambling down and out of the way, like I said, I've been doing quite a bit off camera and I wanted to catch you guys up, you know, get you up to speed on things. With all that said and done, I am finally going to do that thing. I just stepped on a lash <laughs> I am finally going to do that thing I said I was going to do a long time ago. And that was, as soon as I got to either a really nice Spino or a really, really powerful Megalo, I was going to go ahead and check out the underwater... No, not the underwater. No. <laughs> check out the water biome below us, or the whole water area. So I was very scared of going down there due to things like... Um, Baryonyx, Sarkos... Well, Sarkos now, you know, since TFC. Uh, Baryonyx, Sarkos, Jellyfish, etc. Et I was not convinced... Going down on a mega would be a good idea. Especially, let me just uh, fix my graphics for a moment. Especially, like I'd been saying beforehand, guys, I was always feeling very lost, very, you know, hesitant to really go anywhere. I tell you what, the Spino has completely changed my mind. Sure, I'm not invincible, not by a long shot, but I finally, finally in this map, I feel a little bit safe. I feel like I can take risks. I feel like I can go for a wander, and I have. And can I just say... This map is absolutely gorgeous when you finally give it a chance to go around and wander. Right, so I, like I said, I want to find an area. What I've been wanting to do for a while now, because I'm in dire need of pearls. And I've been wanting to find an area that I can get to that hopefully has like a lot of pearls and hopefully it's anglers. And I think I'm going the wrong way, come to think of it, because all those water around me right now, none of it's really easily accessible. I want to get to a place where I can get on the spino and get on a creature that I don't have to worry about, you know, getting dismounted, for example, or getting just generally owned. Uh, so I don't think I'm wanting to go that way. Let's try this way instead. As a megalo megalosaur, megalosaur even there. Now, I have to look at the map habits. And to be fair, I can get like a much better male. I had a 150 male. As good as it was, I could still get better. 
And let's just face let's let's face this cause of habit. <laughs> I spent so long looking at Megalosaurus levels, it's kinda hard not to. Okay, uh, is this gonna be a good area? Yes, good. Down this path here, so quite next to the general like um entrance path thing area <laughs> where I come into the blue biome, I've got this all around here. Good. Now then, I think I can get shocked off the uh, like shocked off um the mountain by jellyfish. I think I actually can. I'm just gonna have to be careful not to. Got a pack of ravagers over there. I am still on the lookout for ravagers too. 96. Okay, that's a bit crap. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's a better Meglo than the one I had, but I'm not really that concerned. In fact, the stats are kind of decent. Hmm. But now I don't want... Oh, hello. Hello, Krakalot. Double eight over there. Okay. See that I was saying, guys, about how uh, this is really fast when you're in the water? You can see that buff on the top left-hand side there. Hydrated. Yeah, look how fast it is when you're walking um, on 4-3. Oh, that's an Alpha Carcanos. Oh, crap. What level is that? One oh, wait, 102. Oh. Okay, I was not expecting this. Um, Now, I have killed an Alpha Carcanos in the past, in another map, of course. That was on Megalosaur, though. It did uh, manage to pick me up off the mount. Screw you, Carcanos. So I'm not sure. I actually have no idea if an alpha can pick you off a spino. It definitely can. 100% pick you off a uh, megalo. But a spino? Um. Oh crap. I was not expecting that at all. What? How much health does that thing have? It has 73k health. Okay, well, worst case scenario. If it does end up doing like a lot of damage to me and I don't feel like I can handle it, I can just run away. Like... I swear, you guys are about to see how quick this thing can run, like, long distance. Right, well, I guess we'll give it a go. Let me just quickly kill that first. In fact, I think I should probably kill some of the creatures around here just so I don't get, you know, screwed over by, like, a jellyfish or something. Alright. Alpha Karkonos. First one on the map, I do believe. And he's already aggroed. Why is he only doing that much? Oh, I'm not hydrated, that's why. Okay, then. Well, my knockback is clearly good enough that it's not really much of an issue. Okay, I'm hydrated. Let's get on my back legs. And let's go bipedal. The knockback is a little bit less. Oh, I've got a sucker on me. That's not good. Oh, no, it's just a mission on. Okay. So as you guys can see, when I'm hydrated and I'm on my uh, two legs, I do 785 per hit, which I know is not the absolute most amazing in the world, but it's pretty damn good in my opinion. <laughs> so I am really happy with that. The knockback is just about good enough where it doesn't seem like it can dismount me. Either that or it's not bothered to try. It's fleeing? Are you actually fleeing? Come on, mate. You're embarrassing yourself. Come on, you're an alpha carcanos. You're meant to be like an absolute badass. Oh, God. Don't want to go too far away now. I am poisoned, probably from the alpha pleura. Right, I've got 14 seconds left on my hydration buff. As soon as that goes down, I would like to go pick it up, just so I've got, like, that little bit extra damage all the time. i got another carcanos right behind me. Okay, then. Gonna turn around, kill that one along the way. There we go, 120, nice. And I am hydrated once again. So now I've got, once again, got the big damage buff. I'm gonna do extra damage. And of course, extra healing. Uh, that's really key right now. But yeah. <laughs> As I said, guys, I love the new Spino. I really, really, really do. And I apologize, by the way, there's like rampant clicking in the background. But hey, it is an alpha after all. Nice. Okay, that was actually quite easy. I did try to kill an Alpha Basilisk with this. Um, it was 168, so it was a very high level. But I think the biggest issue that uh, Alpha Basilisk was... Um, it kind of broke my radiation suit really, really quickly. And I got nothing good. Ah, That's a bit of a shame. But I did get uh, apparently no levels. Hmm. There we go. Let's get a bit more weight. I haven't kind of been struggling. I'm level 93. Wow. Most of all platform saddle. Yeah, that's useful. And for my spider, okay, I actually did get some levels. I've got three levels. Very, very nice. Very nice. And I took my shield off for some reason. Okay. Now then. So. <laughs> back to what we were actually doing then. So I wanted to go ahead and see if I could find any uh, silica pearls in this water. If I can find silica pearls in this water, in this lake, it'll be 110% worth attaining an angler. If I cannot, then an angler just will not do me any good. Now, because there are anglers, it kind of leads me to believe that, you know... If, if they're available in this location, surely, surely it only makes sense that there's pearls. I mean, you're gonna, ha gonna give the creatures a use. Although, 
saying that, I don't really see a use for the um, Diplocolus. Or Diplos for that matter. <laughs> right. Where is my base situated then? Probably about over there, I reckon. So, what's going to be the best way to go? Probably over here. So we're going to have to keep an eye for jellyfish. Because like I said, I'm not sure jellyfish can dismount me, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Especially as whenever I do get shocked off by jellyfish, I have a nasty tendency to panic. Right, so I don't see any pearls around here then. And it doesn't look like there's any more water in that area over there. Do you see a rock drink though? Level 42. Right. Do you see a megalo? I know, I know I should stop looking, but... You know, it's been doing it for so long. It's kind of hard not to. Right, can't see any pearls whatsoever. Any? Oh, hello, Sarko. <laughs> Another Sarko there. Okay, there's a lot more water in this direction over here, in both directions, in fact. Okay, then, so. Just gonna pretty much uh, glide along the way, it seems. Until I hopefully find something of use. Got more jellyfish. Don't really want the jellyfish. That'd be uh, kind of bad for me. Got a lot more Karkonos. Got a frog that's just like... Yeah, it decides to do it, wanted to hug me. Oh! Aha! There are pearls in this area! Right! Oh, there's a lot of pearls! Ooh! So it... 100% it, it will be worth taming a um, angler here. Now, obviously the hard part is... <laughs> is, um... These waters are so incredibly hostile that if I do tame an angler, it'll probably get killed very, very quickly. Like, I am well aware of this fact. But... Oh! Oh! Okay, I didn't get dismounted, that's good. I am getting tall paw though. Wait, no I'm not. What the hell? What did, what did the eels do then? They don't do tall paw. Or is his spider just not affected? And there's a random egg there. Okay. Oh, jellyfish. That's bad. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So yeah, so as I was going to try and say there. I am um, well aware that these waters are incredibly hostile. So if I did get an angler... I would have to be uh, very, very vigilant with it. I reckon that as long as I have a spino with me, like a spino bodyguard, I should be fine. And I'm in the process of breeding like more and more spinos, so I can't really see, you know, having a spino with me at all times being much of an issue. Right then, let's go ahead and get you leveled. Now, there's a 180. If that 180 is a, is a uh, angler, that'd be absolutely amazing. I saw one nearby me just a second ago. Uh, oh, what the hell's that? Okay, I probably just see saddle. <laughs> Uh, okay, there's an angler over there. What level are you? I can't tell if you keep on disappearing. Got a Karkonos over there. And a rock drake. Oh, okay, it's not the rock drake. Hmm. I am extremely confused. There is a 246 bob dog. Um. Is, is that? Is that mine? Did I, like... What the hell? So that's where it went. What the fudge? So you know how I mentioned earlier that I, I lost one of my bulb dogs? That bulb dog was a twin. And I could not find that twin. So, um... Hey. Here, here, here she is. The... <laughs> I, I, I can't do anything about it. I mean, I, I, I already have a bulb dog. Maybe I can, like, abandon my current one. I don't know. Um... <laughs> For God's sake, game. That was, uh, okay, so yeah. Now I know where it went. It apparently fell off. Huh. <laughs> That's really weird. Okay, then. Strange. Well, apparently I finally found all the bloody 180s. Oh, there we go. Okay, get attacked by everything. Apparently we have a 180 Karkonos. And uh, let me just uh, take a step back for a moment. And let me just <laughs> check out that thing's stats. Uh, what are those stats, man? They are... Uh... Okay, it's got a lot of points into movement speed. That is awful. But it's a 180 Karkonos. Now, they can't be bred. That's worth keeping in mind. They cannot be bred. But it's a 180 Karkonos. I actually did find a 174 when I was um, off trying to get the male Spino. I accidentally killed it. <laughs> but, uh... Damn. I kind of really want that. At the same time, I kind of really don't just because of how crap the movement speed uh, stat is. Like, if it was just a little bit lower... Oh, hello. Oh, that is awesome, though. I'm definitely going to consider that. I'm not ready for it today. I'm definitely not ready for it today. But now that I'm aware that there is, like, 
I'm getting a high level uh, Krakenal spawning. I'm definitely going to work on preparing myself for one soon. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Still on the lookout for a decent angler. They are really hard to spot in these waters. I really should have come with a, um, a water tank and a thing, thingy, goggles, scuba goggles. <laughs> Alright, it's been a bit of a struggle, so I keep on getting absolutely swamped and hoarded by creatures, but I did finally find a 174 angler. Now, uh, uh, the hard part here is going to be actually trapping it and taming it because it's surrounded by other anglers. I very nearly killed it, or at least mm, not quite killed it, but I did do some damage to it because I wasn't aware it was among that clump. Right. Did they all disperse again? I think they might be behind that rock over there. Yeah, more than likely. Now, this is actually going to be very, very difficult just due to uh, how many they are. Now, okay. Here's what I think I should probably do. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and kill that Megalosaur there. I'm going to kill all the uh, land creatures next to me. So I might have to dismount quite a bit for this. Uh, okay, good. That's, that, that's down. Is that everything? I think I might have to kill the Baryonyx quickly. Just to be really safe. And good. Right then. Now, let's go ahead then and make ourselves... We'll make our way back up here. And let's put you on... Yeah, let's put you on passive. Right, I'm going to go ahead and put down some gateways, you know, of course, predictable. Put one of them around here. And then another one uh, here. Now the question is, can it escape? No, it can't. Okay, good, good, fantastic. And oh, crap, do I even have a demogun? Please don't have a demogun. Oh, thank goodness I do. Right, good. Get rid of that door. And then as we always do... When it arrives to me, I will go ahead and just quickly trap it there. Uh, just be on, like, the super safe side. Wait, do I only have one gate? Oh, yeah, of course, I put one down. Right, just be on, like, the super duper safe side. I am going to go ahead and put another one here. That way nothing can sneak over from behind me. And... Let's see, then. Can I get that angler to come... Come to me? This is so risky due to the eels. Right, I'm not actually feeling very good about this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna change it up a little bit then. Do change it up quickly. There's no reason the Spino can't be inside here with me. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. So let me get on her or him or whatever it is. Another, another earthquake typical. But I'm in the middle of recording. Right now, I know it's one of the green ones. So it may even be a Christmas one. I don't really know. Is it that one? Yes, there it is. One, two, four, and its stats are quite bad, but it does not matter. Wait, seriously? It went... <sighs> okay, it's like it just beached itself for a moment there. Alright, are you stuck? How typical is that? I make a trap on the other side and it gets stuck. For God's... Why game? <laughs> for God's sake. Okay, change your plans. The very moment I put down an enclosure for it, it bloody just gets stuck elsewhere. To be fair though, it got stuck in a good place. Right, let's go ahead and just demolish all this. Cool. Uh, put the gun away. Make our way back over there. Really hoping I'm not like missing on any weapon drops. All of I am, it's kind of like tough right now. Okay, it's still over there, good. Now I'm going to see if I can just like quickly go ahead and... One there. Oh, it tried to get out, okay. Can I quickly put the other one around here? Now, I'm aware there's a gap right there, but it's fine. I only need to be quick. And there is one here. Excellent. Right, is that all of them? Probably like a really shoddy enclosure there, but it really doesn't matter. Is that every hole filled? I think it actually may be. What the hell am I stuck on? Okay, that, that was weird. <laughs> yep, okay, good. It is, looks to be fully enclosed. Now, can I... I've noticed that the spiders actually have like very good climbing capabilities. Can I like climb up here? No, okay. The one time I'd like it to, but it doesn't. <laughs> right. In that case, I think... Where can I stand? I'll probably stand around here. Um, is the earthquake still happening? No. It seems like it stopped. Good. Go ahead and get the old climbing picks out. Let's make our way up. If it'll let me. There we go. Good. And we'll go ahead and tame up a lovely 174 angler. Now, what would be really cool... Actually, can I like do it over there? Can I, like, stand here? No, it doesn't look like it. What if I stand over there, then? 
I do love the climbing pick so much. And up here. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, that's really good. Right, let's double check. That's the right one, isn't it? It is indeed. Nice. Now, uh, I am a little bit concerned I might accidentally kill it because if I remember correctly, anglers have very high torpor compared to their HP pool. So I'm really hoping I don't end up killing it by mistake. That would absolutely suck. What I would like to do is uh, to be able to breed these later on because I know it's probably a little bit overkill, but at the same time though, just like with uh, any other creature, the more damage it does... Oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, as I was going to say, the more damage it does, like the higher its melee damage, the higher um, yield it has to pick things up. Right, so I cannot do this with a crossbow. Huh. I absolutely cannot do this with a crossbow. Do I have my gun with me? I... Damn it, I do not. Right. Uh, I want, like, can I make trank darts? Or as in, um, the shocking ones. Can I do that? I cannot 96. What level am I? I am 93. Oh god, quite a while away then. Ah, damn. That's a bit of an issue. Right, that's a huge issue. Okay, in that case, I'll just put over the back of my bars then. I am going to make a quick trip back home. Hopefully I can find where I am again later. And I'm going to have to try and get some of the stuff I need to tame this properly. So clearly, clearly um, using a crossbow is not an option. I'm glad I kept an eye on it. Right, and here we are once again. Uh, right, are you still heavily damaged? Okay, you are healing up quite a bit. So I've got a bit of torpor, actually, funnily enough. Now, I have the long neck this time. Doing much less damage. Fantastic. This should hopefully be much, much better. Sadly, I'm not a high enough level yet to get these shocking darts. I won't be for a while yet either. But, I mean, hopefully this is better. It's doing. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Because I'm using the Ascendant crossbow versus a primitive uh, long neck, this is actually like a lot less torpor, isn't it? Am I even going to have enough, enough uh, darts for this? Okay, I will, but I'm actually very, very concerned about the damn health. If, it's, if it turns out I can't tame this, I'm going to be really, really angry. Like, this is kind of making me wish I could just uh, bring over a uh, Ascendant blueprint from another map. Because I, I have so many Ascendant long neck blueprints on my island map. And, I mean, is it, is it really that cheaty? I mean, I, I guess it kind of is, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> quality gear is hard to come by on this map. But god damn it, though. I mean, a bloody anglerfish? It shouldn't be this hard to tame, like, surely. Um, watching my durability of my gun just go down and down. Oh my god, it really can't be this hard, can it? Okay, how are you doing now? I might have a chance. I'm not gonna know unless I keep on trying. I just, I really can't afford to miss anything though. That's gonna be the big thing. And seems like there's an earthquake happening. Yes, of course there is. When is there not a bloody earthquake happening? God damn it. It would actually be pretty damn cool if a uh, <laughs> descendant long neck just happened to drop now, or any long neck for that matter. Wouldn't that be good? But uh, I'm not really gonna stop and look. I can't really afford to let the torpor go down, uh, go down this creature. Meanwhile, I'm just like desperately trying not to fall off. Bloody earthquake, come on. Is there like anything behind me? No. Bloody hell. Game, please. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed I haven't fallen off already. Or even missed. Given that it's an earthquake happening. Damn it. Stop! Please! Like, because of the combat music, I can't even hear the earthquake. Like, I've no idea if it's stopping or not. Okay, I think it actually did just stop now. Like, anything good drop? Anything I can, like, see? No, not really? Okay. What's this happen torpor on now? Oh, that... Uh, it, it's gonna be so close. I think we actually can... Oh, I, I missed. I think we actually can take it down, but it's going to be extremely close in terms of health. But I think we actually have a chance. So I am going to keep on going. I mean, worst case scenario, it dies. If it dies, I'm going to be really annoyed. But, you know, at least I tried. I'd rather try now than be like, oh yeah, I'll come back later with a better weapon and it turns out despawned. Because I, I actually really need to do a dino wipe anyway. I say that when it's 180 Karkonos nearby. <laughs> oh, god damn it. This game. 
this map. I said I want Ancient Diplo as well, but I'm not sure I'm ever going to tame that in my life. I did look that one up. It'll take about half an hour to tame, and that's why I'm standing next to it. Which I'm not really a big fan of. Okay, I think we actually can take this down. It's going to be very close, but I think uh, this will survive the uh, knocking. As long as I keep on knocking it, I don't let the torpor uh, drop. I think we should be fine. Bloody hell, bloody high maintenance creature, hey guys. <laughs> right, keep on going. And where is it at now? Yeah, okay, we definitely have this. So at least now we know. Um, like if any of you are after an angler as well after this. Uh, a primitive long neck is enough to take down a 174. It would just be very close. Bear in mind, of course, it did already have uh, its health quite low. Well... Quite low. More like three quarters, I think. Bloody glitch. I really hope I fix that damn reload glitch at some point soon. I think it's like aggravating. Okay, how you doing now? I reckon about two more hits. I really don't want to overdo it, which is why I'm keeping a very close eye on it. And I missed, of course. Okay, there's one. Here's two. And that should be enough right there. Is it going to like tick on just a little bit? Just a smidgen? Nope, it's dropping already. God damn it. <laughs> Bloody thing. I do have like really high torpor for like for this little creature. It's got a lot of torpor. It really does. Okay, that's two. Surely that's it. And... Is it? Is it down? I think it is down. I can't really tell, but I think it is. Ow. Okay, good. It is down. Fantastic. Right then. Now, I've already looked it up. This is going to take about an hour to tame. And, uh... Damn it, I forgot the saddle. <laughs> I had the scuba tank and the scuba goggles, but I forgot the damn saddle. Ah! Right. I am thinking, guys, because I have taken quite a while today just uh, ramping on about the Spino and, like, how awesomely cool it is now. And uh, obviously the um, Alpha Karkaros as well. We have like, used up quite a bit of time today, so guys, I am thinking I am actually going to cut the episode here. And in the next episode, uh, hopefully, <laughs> I can find another angler. And we'll get like a bred up one and like, get, like, get a huge amount of pearls. And you know, with those pearls, I can make a right shield. I can make, um, if I ever get a better... Oh, oh, with the pearls, I can get the Ascendant Spino blueprint from my other map and bring that over. I am fine about that. I mean... <laughs> the the weapons, like, the weapons make a really huge difference. The saddles just mean I can be, like, a little bit less careful with things. I don't know about you, but I'm perfectly, perfectly happy bringing over that saddle, because I'd love, absolutely love to make that um, Ascendant Spino saddle. So, I think that's going to be the plan, then. But I am getting carried away with all my ramblings once again, so guys, I will catch you in the next episode, and I hope you look forward to it. Thank you for watching this, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.